You are not welcome in this place. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kieran, and yes, welcome back to yet another New Wasteland video, and today I have an exciting upcoming mod to talk about with you all. So the folks over at the Capital Wasteland Project announced that a few of their key team members have been working on a full-on remake of Fallout 3's popular DLC, Point Lookout. <laughs> now this came out of fucking nowhere and I must admit it hyped me right the fuck up because I love the Point Lookout DLC back in the day, it's actually still one of my favourite Fallout 3 DLCs. But again, for all of those out of the loop and don't know exactly what Point Lookout really is, here is a short summary. Point Lookout takes place in the swampy lands of Point Lookout State Park in Maryland. The DLC follows the Lone Wanderer as they travel to the island via a ferry in search of someone's missing door. Your quest, that being to find the door or just exploring, will take you through dangerous swamps filled with redneck mutants, tribal cults, and an old ghoul looking to settle a score. Point Lookout is a fairly short DLC with the main quest being around 45 hours to complete, but you will be there for quite some time simply exploring, picking up side quests, killing rednecks. The map itself isn't really huge either, being about one fifth the size of the capital wasteland. That makes sense because again, it is a DLC, so you know. The reason why this remake project was such a surprise to me was mainly because I never would have thought any of these teams would want to tackle a DLC remake since everyone is kind of busy remaking the older Fallout games like New Vegas, Fallout 2, probably someone making Fallout 1 again. That I'm pretty sure I've seen someone remaking Fallout Tactics. <laughs> I'm, I am 100% certain I've seen that. Also for those worrying, the Capital Wasteland team insists that the development of this mod will not affect the progress of the main Fallout 3 remake project. Which is good to hear, you know, it's always good to hear that there's a side project out there that's not taking away time from the main event, the main hype that is Fallout 3 Capital Wasteland. The mod is also fairly early in development, so don't expect it anytime soon. However, because it isn't a full on game, I don't expect it to take as long as New Vegas or Cascadia to develop. Because the DLC itself, Point Lookout, it doesn't really have that many quests to it. I think around, like, judging off the top of my head here, just from pure memory, I think it has around five main quests and about five or six side quests, so it's not that big, it's not that massive compared to the likes of New Vegas where there's like five million dialogue choices and branching paths to go down. This is way more simpler, this is way more linear, and it's just pro it'd probably be way more easier to develop to be honest. But again, I am not a Fallout modder, so I do not know any of this, so it could take a few years, it could, it could maybe take only a one year, I don't know. Here's hoping it doesn't take that long either, because uh, again, I, I want a new wasteland to dive into and all these projects are taking quite some time, which, you know, fair enough, take your time. With this mod only being in development for about three weeks as of this video, there isn't really much in terms of information that is available, although I did grab a few things, a few tidbits. <laughs> From their Discord chat, NafNaf95, one of the project's leads, did answer a few questions. First off, you won't be able to use your Fallout 4 character in Point Lookout, much like any other recreation mods or just standalone mods in general. This means you'll actually need to create a brand new character specifically for this mod. The project as well is being considered a sneak peek of sorts by the team to the main Capital Wasteland mod. Meaning that this is sort of like a hype event, you know, like this, the reason why Point Lookout is getting made is to just hype up the main event which is the Capital Wasteland, which to be honest, it's really clever. It's actually really clever to think about because you could go down the path of just being like, oh yeah, do you know what? We're going to release the Capital Wasteland map without any of the, um, the quests or anything like that. And you could do that just to sort of hype up the mod. Like, I'm pretty sure Fallout Miami did that, but then they were they were moving on to a brand new map, so they just released the old map anyway. But this is way more 
killer. Like, it, it, it experiments, it gives people a chance to play around with the new features that are being added, or, you know, the old features being added. Uh, so it's quite clever that they're going about this way, and they're approaching Point Lookout in this sort of perspective. A guy in the Discord chat as well also had a few concerns about the Point Lookout quest, The Dark Heart of Black Hall, which involves the player travelling back to the capital wasteland to destroy a book. Now obviously with this mod aiming to be released before the Fallout 3 mod, you won't be able to travel back to the capital. Nafnaf -Naf says that they won't be altering this quest or any point lookout quest, so if there is, is any objectives that involve the player travelling back to DC, you will have to wait until the full release of the capital wasteland. Which to be honest, this is probably the best way to set up the mod, instead of going in, messing everything about, taking way more time than you really should to be honest, and just to make everything sort of work stand alone. So this all leaves me with a few questions as well, like how will we create a character for this mod? Will we simply like just start a new game and then select Point Lookout and then instantly make a character? And then just, what, just jump in? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not too sure. And also, how will this mod start? Because as we all know with Point Lookout, you get the quest through your pit boy saying, oh yeah, by the way, there's a ferry down down by the water, you should go check it out. You go there, you get the quest from the mum, you go meet the, the, the guy who runs the ferry, I can't really remember his name off the top of my head, but you have all that starting section, so are they just going to remove that, the starting ferry segment, or are they just going to... I don't know, just have it, but in a different area, maybe? I I'm not really too sure. Again, I'm pretty sure all of these questions will be answered in due time, but here is some sneak peeks for the mod in the meantime. Starting, we have a look at the Swamp Folk, also known as the Redneck Mutants, as I like to call them. <laughs> Specifically, the Scrapper and the Tracker. The models for these are still creepy in my opinion, but then again, I'm always creeped out by incestuous rednecks, especially mutated incestuous redneck, so no surprise there. <laughs> Next we also get a look at the Pip Boy 3000A, which I think will be used for the mod, I'm not entirely sure, maybe they're waiting for the the main release of the Capital Wasteland to fully release that mod, or maybe it'll be standalone, I don't know, most likely standalone as this mod project team actually do like to release standalone stuff, so maybe, I don't know, but still, it's a cool thing to show off. I'm actually really excited to jump back into Point Lookout whenever it releases, so keep an eye out for any more announcements, or you know, just wait about my channel, wait about Bundacop, because I will eventually get around to covering news, as you all know. So that was Point Lookout, what do you think about it? Are you excited, or would you rather that they made, like, Operation Anchorage or The Pit? Let me know down in the comments below. Special thanks to my lovely wee patrons, Cat G, Proxy1, TG Monster, EnigmaPlays105, and Elemental Moneybag for your continued support over on my Patreon. Thank you guys so much, I do really appreciate it. But yeah, I'm genuinely really excited because like, I instantly put out a tweet being like, hey, my favourite Folly 3 DLC is being remade. I am very excited and it's 2am. <laughs> I want to I want to make a video fucking prompt on this because I don't want to waste my energy, you know? I wanna I wanna be on top of this fucking shit. But yeah, again, if you have any more follow mods you want me to cover, please link them down in the comment section below. There's always new world mods popping up for Fallout 4, Fallout New Vegas and all that, and I really do want to cover them all. There's a few mods that I've been keeping an eye on, like Fallout Hawaii, which I will get around to covering, but there isn't enough there as of yet. I'm going to try and maybe do an interview with the uh, the main project lead for that project to get more information. But until then, thank you all for watching, and I shall be seeing you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.